is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you once again the weekly anime review of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. Now, before I go into the details of this episode and talk about it, I quickly just want to say some of you might be able to tell, I don't know, but I did get a new camera. The camera you're currently seeing this video on, it's a completely new camera. I mean, it's the same model camera, but it is a new camera. So if a little bit of the video looks a little bit off, like, you know, maybe the brightness or anything, please forgive me for that. It's a new camera. I'm still trying to work it in and get all the settings properly like the old one because my old camera bit the dust and just like ugh, fucking died on me. So yeah, I, I can't really use it to check all the settings. But anyways, hopefully the camera looks okay. I'll, I'll check it when I, of course, I edit the video. But if you notice anything off with the video, obviously it's because of the new camera. I gotta, you know, work it out. So, anyways, JoJo Part 4, Episode 10 to be exact. This episode, I gotta say, when it comes to Part 4 JoJo, it's doing something rather different from the other parts of the series. See, when it comes to JoJo, there's been a lot of adventure, a lot of action, a lot of shonen things. Even though there's a lot of uncliché things going on in JoJo, it usually has a lot of action, a lot of adventure, something you would normally see from this type of series. And what's really getting me when it comes to JoJo Part 4 is that it's actually more of a laid-back part. So far from what I have seen from these past 10 episodes, since now 10 episodes are finally out, I can kind of get a good viewpoint of what we're already expecting. JoJo Part 4, I feel like, is probably one of the slowest, not a bad thing, but one of the slowest and probably the most relaxing of all parts I have seen so far. Now, just because I said it was slow does not mean that it's bad. That slow does not equal bad series. It does not mean that. I'm just saying it feels more slice of lifey, and I, I really like that. It really adds a different layer and dynamic to JoJo that hasn't really been there before in the series. And I mean, an episode like this, this is a prime example of a very good episode and showcasing what JoJo Part 4 has kind of been about. Slice of life in a way, living in a town, not going on an adventure, going to Egypt and stuff, just staying in a town and dealing with problems. And that's exactly what this was. This episode, it didn't end the normal route of how JoJo would be. It ended in a way to where everything was good. Nobody had to die. Nobody really got hurt. Everything was fine. And even the dog that I thought died in this episode turned out to be fine. So this episode on a, I guess, a JoJo level, it broke all the JoJo norms that we normally see. Because look, a dog didn't die. The dog actually got fucking healed. That, that, that's a shocker. But then the stand user that was in this episode that I thought was evil, like the entire episode I thought this guy was fucking evil, he wasn't evil. He turns out to be a very good guy. The entire impression of the episode makes you assume he's an evil son of a bitch, but he's actually a good man. He's a very good man, and he actually cares about people and wants to heal them with his cooking. And in a way, you can look at this episode as if it is a Food Wars orientated episode. Now, of course, I'm willing to bet that this chapter and, you know, this, you know, episode and all that, like, you know, when it came out in the manga, it was before the, you know, Food Wars manga ever existed, or was it even in the mind of the person that wrote it. So this came first, obviously, because JoJo is a really fucking old series. So it's kind of like this is the precursor to Food Wars, in a way. And it, it's so funny just seeing so many interactions, the character interactions, of, you know, Okuyasu just freaking out over food, becoming a food critic, making fun of food. He has, like, this hair, or not hair, but he has, like, this skin, dead skin ball fucking come out. It's just, it's so disgusting looking. I'm like, ew! But it, it's just, it's so weird. It's weird in a JoJo way, but it's so different, but so awesome at the same time. I, I don't know how to really describe it. It was just it was such a good episode on a JoJo level. Like, I mean, JoJo has really good episodes, like every week. But this episode, I feel like, might be in one of my personal favorite episodes of all time, just because of the content and what it kind of just tries to do. It tries to be very different from what we have seen. And even though at the end of the day, I don't know if this, you know, episode will have a whole lot of meaning to the rest of JoJo Part 4 or other parts. I don't know if the chef in this episode will become a reoccurring character. I have no idea on that. But if he does, I would like to see more of him. I really want to see more of his character because he's a really good character and he can definitely have an interesting I guess I guess place amongst the cast when it comes to healing their wounds or helping them out if they have a lot of stress so yeah I mean Jojo part 4 this episode episode 10 one of my personal favorites. I loved it. I loved all the scenes of this episode I love the creepy chef scenes to how he just wanted to be a really good man and help someone out so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about this you know episode how do you feel about the slice of life and all that I love you all so much, and please, 
please let me know your thoughts. I mean, and oh yeah, actually, manga readers, let me know too. Is the character in this episode, is he going to be a reoccurring character? Please confirm that for me. I'd be very thankful if you could confirm that in the comments below. So yeah, a wonderful episode, a very wonderful episode of the, uh, the series, and oh my god, I need more episodes like this. I want to see more episodes of JoJo like this. So please be safe, Chibi out.